It's his Queen Montgomery. And I'm in here with my uh, son and daughter. It's one of those cold, rainy days outside. It's um, following like snow that we had on Monday. School was closed on Monday. Um, so I'm in here and I'm really tired. But I need to get dinner started. And my crock pot, I absolutely love the crock pot because you can do so many different crock pot dinners. So what I decided to do today was simply make um, crock pot curry. So what I'm going to do is walk you through the process of what I do to make a uh, crock pot so curry. So family, here's my dandy, handy, dandy crock pot. Um, I've already cleaned the chicken, as you can see. And what I've used is the uh, little drumettes, the wingettes. I really like using those for my curry. Um, I also have my seasonings um, on the counter that sometimes that um, I like to use. Seems like a lot of seasonings, but it tastes uh, really great. Um, of course, this is curry powder. This is garlic. This is um, cayenne pepper. This is Um, this is garlic by itself, and this is a uh, garlic and herb, um, no salt seasoning as well. So uh, I'm going to use some adobo um, and all of these different seasonings. Of course, I have an onion here. Um, I'm going to put in here, and I'm also going to put some thyme in as well too. So let's see. Okay, family. By no means am I saying I am a professional cook, uh, but I have gone ahead and I have um, mixed the seasonings that we talked about um, inside of my crock pot, as you can see. All right, cut up an onion. I have my onion inside of the crock pot and the chicken as well. All right, um, I use Jamaican curry powder for my um, curry. Okay time has escaped over here time so what we're going to do is add a little bit of time uh, a lot of times a lot of people like to use fresh time um because i don't i never know when i'm going to cook curry i i got the time that is uh in the large container i actually got it from new york go to new york often sprinkle some time in there so that is some time in there and we're just gonna mix that up get it in there real good we're gonna get it in there real good flavor seasoning okay so this is our curry which is Jamaican curry powder that I get when I go to New York um, in the bodegos or in the corner Zachy, did she just say bodegos? It's bodegas. Stores, uh, but my sister, my big sister, uh, from another mother, uh, Tisha. Tisha was the one who taught me how to make uh, Jamaican uh, curry. Um, she's actually from Jamaica, originated from Jamaica, and we met in Oklahoma. And she showed me how because I like curry so much. And I started making curry for my family. And now my Aunt Deborah Ann, every time she gets a chance, she buys me a bag of chickens and says, surprise, can you make me some curry? Now it's time to add the water. And you're going to put just about enough water to kind of cover top of the chicken. Okay. And what we're going to do is going to take the and put the lid on. So the lid is on the pot. And I have mine turned up to high. Only because it's about 3.40 in the afternoon. We leave for Bible study um, around 6.30, 6.45 for a 7 o'clock Bible study. So I want this to be nice and done before we leave. Okay, family, so after a few hours, this is how we are looking right now for our crock pot curry. Um, looks yummy. What I am going to do at this moment is cut up some potatoes 
uh, potatoes and go ahead. I said potato. I said potatoes. <laughs> you say potato. I say potato. Oh, and we have some people joining us. Say hello, family. Hello, family. Turn around. Give them shout out. What's going on? How's y'all day going? Here's my big boy who was involved into a little fender bender today. He tried not to tell anyone. All right, so what we're going to do now, family, I'm going to continue to let it cook um, until after church. I'm going to add some potatoes, and um, I'm going to turn it down on low when we leave. And when I come back, we should see the end result, and dinner shall be served. All right, so now we're just going to add a few potatoes. And cut them a nice size. Give them time to um, cook. If you cut them too small, they'll be real mushy. So nice chunk sized. Um, it makes it makes it a hearty meal to add potatoes to it in the water and let it let it be seasoned by. The water come up and let them see it as I'm putting it in. Okay, and we are, and I just used two potatoes. That's it. And we are going to stir, take that out of there, onion fell in. We're going to stir up the potatoes inside. <laughs> Get them in there good. Get them in the water. And Then we'll make some rice when we come home. So now we're going to take the lid and we're going to put it back on. Hi family, it's his Queen Montgomery. We're on our way to church uh, for Bible study tonight. Um, the family is with us. There's Daddy Montgomery. There's Ronnie Perry. Renaya Perry. And show them Zachy. And that's Zachy Man. Anyway, so we're on our way to church, and um, I did turn the crock pot on low just in case you want to know. But we get excited. We're happy today. One, because my son got into a little bender, fender bender bus accident today. He said it was minor, mom. He so wasn't driving the bus. Though. He, he he wasn't driving the bus. My husband says. Um, but he was on the bus, and um, I just give God all praise because we pray before we all leave the house in the morning. To him, it wasn't a big deal, but to a parent, it's a real big deal because that could have been a different way. I said, son, if it, although you think it was minor. The opposite of minor, what could it have been? And he said it could have been major. So I'm just praising God and rejoicing right now because of what it could have been but God. So I'm just excited today. We're on the way to church. We got the chicken cooking in the crock pot. We get back home, rice and everything, and we're going to show you the finished product. Hallelujah. A holler stirring up. From the depths of my soul But excuse me if I sound a little giddy or maybe even strange Because, because praise is the way we say thanks, thanks. Because what? Oh, oh that's alright because, because praise is the way we say thanks Because praise is the way we say thanks because why? Because, because praise is the way we say thanks. We got some wonderful daycare providers here for Bible study, so we feel comfortable. Take take Zachy Man out. The kids go to the big kid class. See y'all later. And Zachy 
goes to the other guy. Too much trouble. I got your number. I will watch it for the on the screen. I will watch it. Okay, family. So we're back from church, and we are going to um, check our chicken progress. So here we are with our curry and potatoes. So we have the tur uh did I say turkey? I'm sorry, chicken <laughs> chicken and potatoes. And this is our curry chicken. And it is now falling off of the bone. That's the way I wanted it. With potatoes, with curry. With onions, looks yummy. Okay, family. So this is the end result um, of our crock pot curry. Um, we uh, finished it off with uh, some some greens, collard greens, uh, some corn, and uh, yellow rice. And we have the potatoes and the chicken as well too. So. There you have it. Okay guys, that's what we have for dinner. That was our crock pot curry. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. We're about to uh, go ahead and enjoy. My kids are already uh, at the table getting it in and my son decides he wants to photobomb um, right now. So again, this is his Queen Montgomery and this is our family and this was our crock pot curry. Hope you enjoyed and remember the best. Oh, there's another photobomber is yet to come. <laughs>